Welcome to the iROM Model Builder Tutorial. In the last video, the impact of manufacturing tolerances on the results of the modal analysis have been demonstrated. This tutorial will show the influence of the electrostatic softening effect on the eigenfrequencies in a modal analysis. Several inertial sensors and microactuators make use of resonance amplifications. Typical examples are angular rate sensors, vibration sensors or micro-mirror actuators. Caused by process tolerances, the eigenfrequencies of samples deviate slightly after manufacturing and need to be readjusted to the target values based on the electrostatic softening effect. Electrostatic softening occurs at capacitors where the moving masses changes the electrode gap. As a first step, comb cells with gap variation must be activated in the design variables window. In the model file of the given example, the kappa type flag replaces the existing comb cell library element, from a finger configuration to a plate configuration. Build a new simulation model. And run a modal analysis. The first eigenfrequency is at about 19.2 kHz. Now we apply tuning voltages at the fixed comb capacitors to demonstrate the softening effect. Open the Assign Loads window, and select Electrical Load Items. In a first step, the involved capacitors must be linked to voltage ports. In a second step, you can apply voltage sources to the conductors. In the given example, the voltages are much higher than usual because the electrode gap has been enlarged to 14 micrometers for better visualization. The obtained modal analysis results show that the first eigenfrequency is reduced by about 2% to 18.8 .8 kHz. The frequency shift results from the second derivative of the capacitance stroke relationship at the initial position. In a second example, the lower conductor is set to ground, and at the upper conductor a higher tuning voltage is applied. The tuning voltage creates significant electrostatic forces, and changes the operating point. Now, the second capacitance derivatives are evaluated at displaced positions, and the new frequency becomes 17.2 kHz. The operating point can be visualized in a static simulation. Displacements are 1.25 micrometers. If tuning voltages are higher than critical voltages, the system gets unstable and negative eigenvalues appear. They are indicated by the complex operator, I, in the mode selection window. At the specified voltages, the seismic mass rests at the lower stopper elements. It has been shown that deflection-dependent electrostatic forces at capacitors with gap variations affect modal analysis results. The electrostatic softening effect, and the related frequency changes can be analyzed with the IROM model builder. It supports MEMS designers to calibrate eigenfrequencies of micromechanical sensor and actuator products. I hope you enjoyed this video. The next tutorial introduces the modeling and simulation of pull-in and release voltages by nonlinear static DC sweep analyses.